Hey everybody, this is Joe with 4th Avenue Entertainment today. It's been a while, I know. I just We've just been busy getting everything taken care of with school, life, things like that. But we're back and we are going to start building more models. Yeah! Okay, so I had four to choose from, choose from from my back lot. And what I decided to do was have my kids go ahead and choose which one to do. And they decided to, I was going to do the event exclusive Nemesis Prime attack mode model kit. And so today, that's what he looks like. That's Nemesis Prime from Transformers. And so today's video is just going to be one of showing you the box, showing you the insides, the parts, and then the uh, the instructions booklet and things like that. And then the next video is when we're gonna actually start building it. So here is the box again, Decepticon, event exclusive. I don't know what event they're talking about. Maybe it was a BotCon or something, but it is an official Transformers figure like that. So here's the front of the box with him with his wanton destruction. Looks like it's made by Flame Toys. I really don't know who they are. And I can't read that, so I don't know what that is. So anyways, so again, Transformers, Model Kit, Nemesis Prime in attack mode. Flip around this way. Another look at that tasty mug. Same parts here. And then more stuff there. Definitely needs to let you know that it's in attack mode. Then on the back here, we have articulation, 40 movable joints. Any pose can be set easily. That looks nice. Now, this looks like it's been painted, obviously, because everything's all shiny. And what I'm gonna do is, on these parts here, I'm gonna actually put a chrome color to it. All the black parts, I'm going to use a very high gloss black paint. And then uh, most of these parts right here are stickers. Probably gonna have to end up using those, okay? Uh, that piece right there is a red plastic and you'll see it when we open up the box. And then there's all the runners that come with it. And you see that little red spot right there. Okay. And then Hong Kong. There's URLs, ages 15 and up. Bluefin, warning labels. Another look at them. Build me. Build me now. And then authentic transformers from Hasbro. So with that, let's go ahead and we'll open them up here. Put that right there. So first thing we have is sticker sheet, foil, foil stickers. Looks like there's a lot of them. And then there's those two things that go on the shoulder parts there. We'll put that off to the side. And here is Assembling instruction manual. Still looking so beefy. Let's open this up here quick and see what we've got. Again, there's all the runners. So make sure you double check, make sure you got all these parts. And then it looks like it's, you know, it's just basically you're like building a Gundam. Boom, boom, boom. His axe, his gun. Storage for the gun. I'm glad there's storage for the gun because I might actually pose him more with this axe just because I like more hand-to-hand -hand weaponry with stuff. And then model kit attack mode. See, just like that. And it tells you how to actually do everything. You have to make sure you cut before you hit the part and then you, with a nipper or a cutter. And I'll... <clears throat> Excuse me, for those who might need to know how to do that, I'll show how to do that at the beginning. And then warnings and attentions. So if you want to read that, pause it, read it. 
There you go. Pause it. Good. All right. There you go. <coughs> Excuse me. I've not done this in a while. So now here's the parts in the bags. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight bags total. And so you have these part here. See, this is kind of like a dull gray. I kind of want to, sh I want to make him shiny. I'm not going to do any sort of battle weathering or anything. I'm just going to do nice shiny gloss part stuff for all these. So we have that there. Here's that red chest piece in a very nice see-through color. I apologize for the sun coming in this way because I got the window open. It's about 37 degrees with about a 35 mile an hour wind. So when you step outside, it feels zero here in South Dakota today. And then I think those are his eyes right there. And then the chest piece looks really cool. And then here we've got more parts. Looks like for his feet, and there's his hands. There's some more hands there. I don't know what's in here. It's just a big jangled mess of stuff. Hmm. Okay. Then here we've got leg pieces, shins, a whole bunch of other stuff. I think this, I think this part fits underneath the red part. Wheels, here's for his tires, there's his tires, and they're hard plastic, they're not rubber. Would be nice if it would be rubber, but that would probably increase the price of this. It was, I believe, when I picked this up in Omaha, it was about $36. So if it was real rubber tires, it would be probably more like 50 Then here's his big old axe, there's his big old gun, other half of the axe and the gun. And then last but not least, chest piece, other pieces, shoulders, rear end, things like that. So that's basically what you're going to get out of the kit. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to wash all of the runners in a soap and hot water solution, just like they normally would show you. And then I'm going to start with just following the instructions bit by bit. So here you go. So this is going to be the new one that we're going to do. So I don't know how many parts it's going to be. I don't know how long each of the pieces are going to be or like the parts are going to be, but we're going to have fun doing it. So until next time, we'll see you later and have fun building.